Hey guys, Robin Rosada here, director of instruction for Top Speed Golf, and today we're gonna to talk about putting. I've got something for you that you probably have never heard, but it's gonna accomplish two key things, hitting the ball solid and working on your tempo. Two really important things when it comes to putting. So let's go and get started talking about that. Okay guys, so putting. Obviously we putt for dough, we gotta make our putts, but one thing I see or I hear a bunch of people I get lessons to, or people who ask me questions, is like they're just not hitting their putts solid. They can't get the ball rolling, getting that forward roll like we talk about a ton. You really want that ball to be moving forward so you can have a good chance of making the putt. So I'm gonna have a, a key word for you, a key phrase for you. It's just only two words, well, three words technically, low to high. And you're gonna say that, practice that to yourself. Say it in your head or you're on the golf course, think low to high. And what that really means is that, I'm sure you haven't heard this yet, is when you take it back, I want you to feel like you're bringing it back lower and then coming in slightly higher. That's gonna give you that forward roll. Now let me talk about that. Now I've already probably got you guys kind of thinking like, what in the world? Doesn't the putter go like this? Yeah, it really technically does. And when you think this low to high, it still is gonna have that slight arc to it on the way up. It's not gonna necessarily drag all the way through. That's just kind of awkward to drive that putter out all the way through. It doesn't really give you the right motion. But what I see a lot of people do is they get, their tempo gets off and they jacks up their, kind of their ticket back, they get a little bit too yippy here, too yippy here. So in this low to high motion here, I want you to feel like you're taking the butter, putter head lower on the way back, it's still gonna come through, and then feel like you're going a little bit, feel like you're going higher. So that's gonna make you follow through. A lot of people get too jabby with it or they hook it a little bit, leave it open. So when you go low, to high, that's gonna force you to maintain this triangle here like we talked about, get that good rocking motion, use your shoulders on your follow through, and then it's gonna create that forward roll. That's like really important. So not only is it affecting your stroke, it's gonna allow you to hit it nice and solid, low to high, but when I'm saying that in my head and when I'm actually saying it out loud, it's actually helping with my tempo. Some people people talk about that, they talk about, well, what's my tempo should, should be? And actually, tempo is personal to everybody. Some people are a little bit faster. I think Brant Snedeker, his is, when he, hit, when he puts it at this, low, high, you know, but it's still pretty even. You know, he has a little bit more acceleration through it, but it's a good tempo. Some guys are slower. Can't really think of any tour players who have a slower putting stroke. But this is a good way, when you say it out there, you go low to high, gets you a good tempo, but also works on having a good technique to hit the ball solid and get the ball rolling forward. And most important is to still hold your finish low to high. Get the ball rolling forward. Give it a good chance to go into the hole. It gives you a good, solid, confident stroke and helps you hit the ball even more solid onto the face. All right, guys, so good luck working on that. Hope that helps you make more putts, helps you lower your score, and helps you to think low to high. All right, guys, have fun. Good luck as always, and play well. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video talking about putting, that quick little tip, high to low, how to hit it more solid. But I get a lot of people who are struggling still with their chipping. Maybe you're a great putter, but you get around off the green and you're struggling with those chipping. Well, this preview that's gonna player is gonna help you with that chipping. You gotta click on the i card, it's gonna take you to the full version so you can fully understand how to chip the ball, use your wedges very well around the greens. So go ahead and click on the i card, watch the full version, then there's five free videos for you on there as well. Well, good luck out there, guys. Have fun as always, and play well. So in this chipping drill, we're gonna learn how to, different clubs are gonna control your trajectory differently. And I want you to set up on the front of the green about a four foot gap between two strings. So we're gonna have one string, about a foot or two on the green. It's gonna carry farther in the air. So I've added another four feet of carry distance, but the amount that the ball rolls out is exactly the same. And because it has more loft, it's not gonna roll out quite as much. There we go, we see that that ended up about where I wanted it to be. If I wanted...